Do you know how to estimate sums and differences of fractions and mixed numbers? Let's take a look at how to do this. One way to work with this is to round fractions. Round them to a half or round them to a whole. Another way is to simplify, and sometimes you can do both. Let's look at this example. 8 tenths plus 2 fourteenths. First, look at 8 tenths. 8 tenths is almost a whole. So let's round 8 tenths up to 1. Plus 2 fourteenths. It's a pretty small fraction. Let's simplify it. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 14 seven times. Our estimate is 1 and 1 seventh. Let's look at that again. Let's look at 7 ninths plus 3 thirtieths. 7 out of 9 is almost a whole. So we can take 7 out of 9, 7 ninths, and round it up to 1. Plus, let's simplify 3 thirtieths. 3 is the common factor. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 30 divided by 3 is 10. So our estimate is 1 and 1 tenth. We can do this with differences, too. Take a look at this one. 6 fifteenths minus 4 twentieths. First, let's look at each fraction and see if we can simplify it. 6 fifteenths can be simplified. It has the common factor of 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Here I have 2 fifths bring down the subtraction. 4 twentieths can also be simplified. 4 is the common factor. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now I have a very simple problem. 2 fifths minus 1 fifth is equal to 1 fifth. Here's another one involving mixed numbers. Again, we want to find an estimate. We have 8 and 4 fifths minus 2 and 1 tenth. First, 8 and 4 fifths can't be simplified. But look at the fraction part of the mixed number. 4 fifths is almost another whole. So rather than us thinking of this as 8 and 4 fifths, we can round up and think of this first number as 9. 9 minus 2 and 1 tenth. 1 tenth doesn't simplify. So let's just leave that alone for right now. Let's work with the whole numbers. 9 minus 2 is 7. And then if we include the 1 tenth, we can say 7 and 1 tenth is a reasonable estimate. If you want it to be even more exact than this, you could just drop off the 1 tenth. And we could say 9 minus 2 is 7. So an estimate for these mixed numbers, for this difference, is 7. Here's one more. 4 and 1 tenth minus 3 and 2 fifteenths. Notice right away that the fractions here are very small. 1 tenth is a small fraction, 2 fifteenths is a small fraction. To do this estimate, we can actually just ignore those, and we can say that 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Now, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, but because there are fractions involved, because this is a mixed, these are two mixed numbers, we can say that our answer is going to be less than 1. By using rounding and simplifying, we can estimate sums and differences of fractions and mixed numbers.